All right, hello. Double intro, yeah, that's right. You got two today, how lucky are you? That's so great. Double intro, got it playing a couple different places. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, thanks for joining me today. We're gonna dive into this. Uh, so nice, gotta play it twice. I like how that rhymes, thanks for that, Tim. Uh, yeah, so welcome everybody. We're gonna dive into mastering type. Now, are we really gonna master type in an hour? Mm, is somebody over promising a little bit? Uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you for that, Michelle. Audio is good, I always need to know that, so that's very helpful. Um, so yes, but we are going to uh, really just like understand type better and we're gonna just got a fun project to work on, so this is gonna be good. Two intros for the price of one. That's right. All right, everybody. We're going to dive into mastering type, all about typography. Uh, bam, bam. Here we go. Let's go ahead and switch screens. And uh, we're going to have some fun. So, yeah, we're going to kind of master type. I might reference this a couple times. Um, just kind of referring to the different elements of type. Of course, we're not going to make our own font. We're going to just do a fun design. Um, so that's the goal. So welcome everyone. And uh, we should be good. Sometimes I have too many screens going on. But I will be referencing some of this. Of course, we have the stem, we have the bowl. I didn't even know some of these terms, by the way. A terminal, that's what that is. The end of the R, okay. The ear, oh, that's interesting, right? What are they even talking about? Uh, but what oftentimes we'll refer to is the point size, the X height, right? Ascenders, descenders, uh, you get the idea, okay? Uppercase, lowercase, you get the idea. All right, escape out of that. Uh, post your questions, jokes, and ideas in the chat. That would be helpful. Uh, so yeah, so what we're going to work on today is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to make a couple of uh, basically uh, cocktail labels. Let's just call it what it is, right? So we're going to work on three drinks because I think it'll be fun to do this. Uh, we have a painkiller, and I apologize. There is, don't, you know, don't get hung up on this. We're all adults. We get it, right? So... I'm not promoting alcohol in any way. Painkiller, just consider this, uh, just call this uh, Coke. Two ounces of Coke, Coca-Cola. There, if it makes you feel safer, right? But anyways, we're gonna do a fun, fun title art with uh, the word painkiller, Saturn as well. So we're gonna do a fun tiki drink based on Saturn, and then we're gonna uh, do this one, which is also just a made up drink, by the way. Caballero Mioto, just kind of made up that term and I thought it was pretty good, right? Uh, so, yeah, it means dead cowboy. It's like, cowboy, hey, white boy, what are you doing drinking that tequila? That's going to kill you, right? Anyways, I thought this would be kind of fun. You could always, by the way, jump out to Behance and kind of check out what we have for, actually, let's see if it's listed at the top. Just kind of scrolling through, don't mind me. Advertising, fine arts, crafts. Creative challenges. Anyways, everything is out here on Behance. So you can get inspired if you want to by jumping in out here and searching for type or typography. So there we are. All right, dark rum. Man, dark rum just sounds scary, man. I just don't even know. But I do like to do this, because especially if it's like first thing in the morning, it's like, wow, okay, well, let's just get the juices flowing. Like, what do we have out there? Look at this fun display font. By the way, a lot of um, like agencies and companies, they post fonts here because they want to promote them. So there's this hardcore display font. Let's just take a look at it really fast. And, uh, okay, gotcha. This is f fascinating. This is really cool. So this is this is new to me, to be honest with you. Uh, on Adobe Stock, and it's already licensed, this hardcore font. I'm going to re-download for free. That is fascinating. How did I even get there? Oh, here we go. That's how I got there. I apologize. Uh, I was on this more on Adobe Stock. So basically, through Adobe Stock, you could download um, fonts as well, but I'm sure these fonts, just so you know, it's going to look like this, 
right? So it's not a true font just yet, right? Um, it is just all the characters to make up your own text, okay? White rum, dark rum, it's all dangerous, especially the recipes that include both white and dark rum. It's like, geez, are you trying to kill me? So anyways, there they are, get inspired. So let's take a look at this one, super fun. I don't know, uh, Fagelia, Seraph typeface, scrolling down, pretty cool. I really like it, kind of retro. Um, I'm going for a tiki theme, so I'll write that at the top as well. But we'll scroll down. Cool, cool, cool. Um, sometimes they'll have a link to download the font as well. So there is that. Hello, Frank. Welcome to you, my friend. Good to have you here. Also out on Adobe Fonts, fonts.adobe.com. We can browse fonts. I like this though as well. So we could browse fonts. Ooh, I'm, oh, I'm already into it. Jeez, I'm getting ahead of myself. But these are just our resources, right? Okay, help us all everybody. I am not promoting anything at all. I'm just saying, hey, you know what? We are gonna be adults. We're gonna make some fun. Uh, I'm just gonna call it title art, right? So a cool title for each one of these drinks, painkiller and so on and so forth, right? So let's do that. Painkiller, Saturn, Caballero, Murto. Let's just cut that. Let's just have that on its own layer, like so. Okay, so the theme is gonna be, of course, Tiki, right? Because why not, huh? Is that okay? Are you guys getting tired of this? Because I've done this a couple times. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, um, it's what I'm doing. Because uh, you know what? It's summertime, and you know what? Things are looking good. So let's do a little tiki time, right? Pretty cool. Oftentimes I'll get inspired by going out to Pinterest. Do you guys do that? Pinterest. Jump out there, search on tiki, see what we get. And this is sort of the style that we would, we're kind of looking at like that. Tiki surf witches, right? You get the idea. So this will be really fun. All right. There we go. Just making reference of this, of this type here, right? The reason I like this is it looks like it's sort of like cut out of wood. I like the outline. Those colors are all very, I don't know, kind of like retro right and kind of muted a little bit but uh very like worn so it's really cool right it could quickly get cheesy though in my opinion so anyways there's some more ideas we got it cool yeah there's some fun stuff some of the stuff is cheesy where's the where's one that like eh. some of it borders on a little cheesy but this is fun check out this one wait for it Here's a print you can order from arts.com apparently. Oh yeah, Surf Shack Cafe. Look at that fun illustration, super cool, right? So let's do it. Jump in here, our theme is Tiki, uh, and let's get started. So we wanna get inspired. I'll sometimes pull down some of those images, by the way, wherever I may find them. I don't know if I can do a click and drag. Boom, there it is, inspiration, right? inspiration you get the idea tiki surf witches oh a skull mug you know i'm into skulls maybe that's why i like um uh good old uh, like the tiki theme by the way this is interesting it seems like you don't actually bring in the image when you do a click and drag but when you're in a browser and let's just, uh, da, 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 da. let's just grab this, this image, click and drag, and that's actually from Adobe Stock, and drop it in, right? So sometimes it doesn't look like it does, but trust me, when you click back in Illustrator, you'll see these assets. So here's our references, here's our tiki. Let's have this be a fun font, right? And we'll get into this typography. I could do a script font, right? And we can roll through some of these, right? Bam, bam, bam. 
Just like that. I might just go with that, Tiki. Is that a good title to begin with? Right? That's what I want to do. Uh, are, you, are you into Skulls Ball? <laughs> uh. All right. You guys giving me a hard time about liking Skulls. I don't like Skulls that much. <laughs> I like flowers, too. I like the just juxtaposition of things. It's like life and death. So I, I think that's where, you know, art really uh, gets to be pretty compelling is, uh, you know, juxtaposing two things that seem to be different and you put them together. All right, that was just a coffee break. All right, let's dive into this. Painkiller. So we take this, take this text, Right, like so. Painkiller um, is, just so you know, this is how you make it. You don't make it with Coca-Cola. It's rum, pineapple juice, orange juice, cream of coconut. It ends up being like kind of a creamy white, sort of a taupey color. Pineapple wedge for garnish and grated nutmeg on, on top as well. And uh, we could also light it on fire. So that's actually the plan for this is we will light it on fire. Okay, couple things we can do with that we can select this text and really I'm just gonna select it like so jump out here click out here and we can start rolling through some of the fun fonts so we have our decorative fonts that I can start to take a look at I like this one adorn engraved because it looks very tiki like like it's cut out of wood right Let's just take our time, roll through some of these. No, it's not a dollar bill, right? Some of these I actually might be modifying and that's probably the plan for the painkiller, right? Again, really cheesy. A lot of this can be like super cheesy, right? They're not saying, what I need to say is I want this to say that it's, um. It's, it's rough and tropic and can be deadly. <laughs> so yeah, painkiller for breakfast, why not? All right, so we're noticing, at least I'm noticing that I'm not only, really only coming up with one font uh, on my desktop and I haven't been through all of them. It's not space. It's not this, um, this look, which looks like it's sort of medieval times. I like this font, actually. This one could be fun to work with, right? So we could have some fun with the different aspects of this font. Now, first off, note that you can take text and you can use uh, the touch type tool. So I use this a lot, well, when I need to, but with the touch type tool, you could jump in and even though everything is not outlined, you could start to adjust each individual letter. So we'll kind of nest that up in there, that L with that uh, other L, take that K down, right? And just have fun kind of bringing these together, kind of tightening it up like so, right? Like that. And by the way, we can make this look very rough as well. So there we have painkiller. Keep in mind, when, if you're modifying type, you can get away with modifying a lot of the letters, but you still have to make it legible. So I encourage you to not mess too much with the P or the R, or the first or last letter, right? So again, super cool. And by the way, thank you so much, Steve. It is awesome, right? So with the touch type tool, guess what? It's all still on one line, right? It's all still editable, right? And if you're like me, this is what all your different, oh, this is what your Illustrator file will look like. You'll have that type off to the side like way too many times and then jump in here. This will be one because you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline it. Create outlines. Boom. Afroja, good to see you here. Joe Bodego, hello. Greetings from Toronto. Good to have you here, man. I love Toronto. I, Toronto's such a melting pot. I'm like, I really like Toronto. I think, I think they're just like the nicest people. And uh, yeah, it's just a cool... Cool city, if you ask me. All right. Is this working?
Again, just making it look a little unique. Let's take that down like so. Take the top of this in, bring it up, right? Just making it look like a little unique, right? What this could really use, yes, Photoshop needs to have a touch type tool noted. I think that would be awesome. Uh, Aditya, Nandi, good to have you here. And thank you so much, you're so kind. Okay, what this needs is this needs, I don't know, what do you guys think? What does it need? Does it need like a knife? Do we make a knife? Do we stick it in there? Do we do like a toothpick, right? There's a number of things we can do. Do we throw sort of a slice of pineapple on there? Because again, we're going to top it with pineapple and it's actually going to have a flame. So for the sake of time, honestly, because I have to do three of these, we'll jump out to noun projects. So I'll use the noun project sometimes. I'm going to show you about assets, where you can get assets. First off, we have noun project. Secondarily, we have, let's go to stock.adobe.com. To see what we have out there, huh? And show you where to find free stuff. Guess what? There's a free category right in here. Let's go to free. We'll just try this. We'll try Tiki just to see what happens, you know? Because if I find uh, assets that I can use for free, that would be fant. Really? Oh, could not find anything free. Okay, so we'll do cocktail. cocktail. I knew it was a long shot, but you never know. Some cocktails, there we go, we have that one. We have a couple drinks, but also right over here, we are able to sort these. Show me all the images. Let's exclude people. And uh, this is what we have, so. Again, free assets that I can use. I'm looking, I'm looking. Wait for it. Just checking out all of these. Okay, okay. This one looks like the most like a... Um... Painkiller. There we go, downloaded. Done. Let's go up here. Let's grab some more assets really fast. Free stuff. There they are. Let's open them up. There we have this drink. Get rid of all that stuff. And these other elements. Maybe I'll keep that for now. Again, whether this makes it into my final design, I am not sure, right? Because a little bit too happy, a little too fun. And um, I would like this to be actually a black and white. But again, I'm just collecting resources. So that's one resource for you. Umbrella drinks, good call. Let's jump out to uh, noun project and we'll just type in uh, cocktail. See what we get in here. This is fun, I can scoot this off to the side. Let's minimize this. And then start grabbing some of these. So this one, copy, paste, done. Awesome, get our resources squared away. Shift Command H, let's just hide everything. Some of these other simple ones are very nice, right? And again, I could make these by the way, but um, I want to focus on type and not necessarily just making icons, if that's okay. Fun, fun, fun stuff. There's a little umbrella. Here's another one, right? We're grabbing our resources. Again, just a resource for you. This is a fun one. Oh, yeah. That's a fun one. All right, cool. You got it. Ah, uh, Oh man. All right. Yes, you have so many free stuff from Adobe Stock. Let me show you some other places. Because again, I think I paid like 20 bucks and I get this little widget for Noun Project, right? To use these assets. Always check the um, 
uh, any sort of copyright that it might have. Um, so this is called the Noun Project for uh, uh, Luca, who's asking. So you can view it also, <clears throat> excuse me, in a browser, um, but you can also get this little fun little desktop widget, which I think is super cool. Like we'll do Tiki, let's do a Tiki. Bam, oh, there it is, there's our little guy, boom. Easy, and I really, I, these would have been fun to make, to be honest with you. The problem with using resources that are already made is there's a chance, like if you use this for a client, there's a chance that the client could see it elsewhere. And they're like, wait, I, I bought this off an artist and now I'm seeing it other places? Are they reselling this work? Is it really theirs? What's the situation? So again, of course it's not unique. So that's, that's the only issue, but there's some fun little icons in here. You guys get the idea. Cool. Oh, I love these tiki torches. Oops. Oh, let's undo that. Command G to group. Here's Tiki Torches. Copy, paste. All right, so you guys get the idea. Done with that. Ooh, look at these. Oh man, I gotta stop. So much copying and pasting. Let me show you something else really fast. This is another free asset for you. We're gonna jump out to Spark. Let's just try this, okay? Here's just another resource. This is a little, this is, this is maybe a little sneaky, but I'm gonna show you. Uh, let's just go ahead and create from template. I don't really need to start with anything, to be honest with you. But also in um, Spark, there are also assets in here. So let's take a look at it. The first tiki could be used as a glass. Yeah, I believe it. Okay, so off to the side, we have uh, icons, right? So right in here, we could search for flame. Right? Not that it would be hard to make a flame at all, but let's just go ahead and click. Boom, there's a flame. Here's another flame. Right? Here's another flame. And let's try Tiki in here, just to see what we get. So we have a bunch of Tiki assets in here as well. Click again, let's add that one. Let's add this one. You get the idea. Let's add one more. Oh yeah, these drums. Very tiki of us. Okay, let's see if I could change the colors of all of these. Uh, which I can do. I want them all black. There you go. Okay, there they are. Now we could take this and then download it. We will download this as a PDF. Boom, start download. <laughs> All right, Kimmy J Designs in the house. Good to have you guys here. We got a full day of master classes today, so this will be fun. Here's my PDF, by the way. Bam, there it is. And by the way, here's the uh, Tiki time. Uh, here's the design for the Tiki Tiki party. So there you go. There you go, let's just hide that. Are you vaxxed, waxed, and ready for snacks? It's hilarious. Okay, so here's the PDF. What do we have to do? Just go drop it on the Illustrator icon, and there you have it. Okay, boom, let's get rid of that. And then here's all these assets. They're all vector. So. All right. Yeah, you're welcome, Michelle. Yeah, I thought that was kind of clever. Again, this is just for fun. I'm not reselling it. I need to still go through, like just be very aware of like, I don't actually know where these assets came from. I should ask, <laughs> like, where did we get these? And is it okay that I do this? But I really like Spark, Like, right? I've been having a good time with it, right? So we not only have these cool icons that we can create, but we could have fun with, um, text in here as well. So jump in. Sure enough, here's text we can play with. Dropping that in. I'm going to change this to Tiki. Or Painkiller. No, this doesn't work too well. I'm getting rid of all of that. Add your text. Let's just type in Painkiller. 
done. There's our text, right? Just using a standard font. Um, and I can pick other fonts, but what I'm wondering, since there's only one line, if I'm gonna be able to pick more than one font or have this like, here we go, find a new style down there at the bottom. Yeah, isn't doing it any favor favors. Yeah. Yeah, not so much. All I'm saying is if you're looking for a type lockup, go to Spark Post. You could use any one of these type lockups and then you could also reshuffle it by selecting it. And maybe I will do this one more time. Uh, just, I apologize everyone. Let's do this sale just for kicks. Okay, hold on, everybody. Do something like that. Here's my text. Oh, I love this font, Juniper. Uh, find a new style. So I'm clicking on this, and it starts to reshuffle it in different formats. So again, just something to try out in case you're at a loss for um, you know the formatting. All right, we're back in here. Let's take this flame. Why not? Let's go out here. We have all these assets so the painkiller actually how it works is on the top of the painkiller and i'm going to modify the recipe because that's actually how it's going to be made all right we'll do that it's actually going to be lime lime uh a lime for garnish it's half of a lime and there's gonna be a sugar cube uh, soaked in uh, lemon extract, which is gonna be flammable. So when you serve it, it's gonna be like half of a, excuse me, a lime, half of a lime with lemon extract for whatever reason. And then you just sprinkle a little nutmeg on the top and then it makes all the this like cool little flame. So that's the idea behind the painkiller. That's why I grabbed this lovely flame right there so they know it's gonna be hot. Okay, there we are. Let's take this. Let's move this guy over. Yep, it's grouped. Let's move this guy over here. Why not? All right. One, one down. I like this. I could add some, um, really kind of need some more texture to it, to be honest with you. Right? It needs to have more of a worn look. Right, And I don't know if I'm a fan of these two styles kind of conflicting because this is obviously an outline and everything here is filled. So, all right, so let's just do that. Put the rum back, let's just do it. Uh, dark rum, there we go. There's the official lime for garnish, uh, grated nutmeg, <clears throat> excuse me. There we are, let's change this font. <clears throat> Again, not that cool going with just this sans serif font. Let's go for a serif based font and just kind of roll through some of these options. I kind of like this uh, sort of typed up look, which looks cool, right? So again, it's supposed to be kind of old because this is when tiki's were big back in the 40s basically. <clears throat> or earlier. There we go. We have our painkiller. At least the start. There we go. That's even better. All right. Let's move on. You like the tiki glass? I like the tiki glass as well. All right. We could make it match, right? So we want these two styles to match. I'm going to select all this. There we go. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts, everyone? There we go. 
Maybe that's better. All right. Cool. All right. So I think we have this. We have one done, right? Um, and I still want to try a couple other things. We haven't done a lot with fonts. Are we really mastering fonts just yet or typography? Uh, we're learning how to manipulate it is what it comes down to uh, at the end of the day. So I could easily see like a fun border around this, by the way. I love it when you have like, um, you have like a, you know, you, you put this on like a card, right? So you just have this sort of outline and maybe we've kind of, maybe we curved the corners. There's so many things we could do with this, but I love it uh, when things are kind of breaking out of a border. So we could do something like this and then you can jump in and over here, we'll just add, we'll use the scissors tool for this part. We'll just bam, bam, we're cutting that line. We'll cut it up here as well. Bam, bam, cutting it there. And then we can go ahead and delete that line. Hit delete twice. If you hit delete once, then it's just gonna delete the line, but the points are still there. And I'm sorry those points are in gray, but uh, there you go. We have that now disconnected and we can kind of bring those together like that. Maybe a little more, you get the idea. We do this some, th some fun things with the border as well. Okay, cool. We got that, painkiller, it's done. We're not gonna worry about color because we don't have time. We gotta move on to Saturn, right? How are we gonna do a Saturn font? This is gonna be really fun. And by the way, this is a great drink. Again, this doesn't say gin, this says ginger ale. Ginger ale, <laughs> right? Uh, but it's really good, okay? So Velvet Falernum, oh yeah. Let's go ahead and sample that font, right? So we want to use the same font that we used over here. So we'll just hit I, coming over here and we'll click and we've sampled that font. There's a ton of options that you have when it comes to sampling. Let me double click. Here are all my, this, these are my eyedropper options for this eyedropper. We could sample everything, right? There it is, every single thing. So, um, you know, character style, paragraph style, if you just wanted to capture the color, obviously you're just gonna check color, okay? But I wanted to match everything, that's why everything is checked. Done, done, and sure enough, we'll do that over here for this one. Bam, bam, sampled, done. It's Saturn time. All right. Yeah, Saturn's pretty cool. Like this, so the Saturn, just so you know, it is a, and let me just start drawing it. This will be very interesting. I wanna sample that stroke thickness, uh, which is only one point. Hmm. Ah, all right. Draw fun. Bam. Let's do maybe two lines. Shrink the second one. Maybe kind of like that. Let's do that. Align them. Bam, there we are. Um, all right, so this is what we could do here, right? We wanna go ahead and combine this together, remove parts of it. You can chop it up using the scissors like I showed you earlier, or you could jump over here to the shape builder tool, right? A lot of you probably know about it, but it's awesome. Shape builder, now we can just click and drag, boom, that's one shape. These parts right here, boom, boom, boom. One piece now as well. And now we have this like lovely Saturn uh, shape, which I think is kind of cool. You guys into it? I'm into it. I don't even know if we're gonna use it as an element because we need to start right over here. So Saturn, of course, we're gonna think of uh, planets, but we still wanna keep it tiki, so this'll be interesting. <sighs> yeah, Velvet Flurnum's a, like a syrup. You are exactly right. Let's go into these fun fonts, by the way, and I haven't even done this just yet. Ooh, look at this one. Ah, oh, look at it. Did I nail it on the first try? Look at that. I'm really into this one. Yeah, I'm saving it. Option drag. We've saved that version. Oh, come on, look at this one. Another good one. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Stop it already. 
This is actually what I'm looking for. Like this one as well. Super cool, right? <laughs> oh, man, I am lucking out, right? So pretty cool fonts. Also, let's jump out too. Uh, 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 I have so many tabs open. Searching for Adobe fonts right over here, we can go ahead and tighten it up some more. So I, I actually want to go with something kind of futuristic. I'll select futuristic. And then for the sample text, we'll type in Saturn. Just like that. Oh, come on. Look at this. It reminds me of the Saturn car. Do you guys remember this Saturn? Wasn't that a brand? Ah, oh, I'm into this. Man, this is awesome. Per Perulin? Yeah, let's get Perulin. Hardest thing about this is just pronouncing the name correctly. But come on now, people. This is cool. I don't know why I'm like really into this, but I am. <laughs> BD Geminis or Geminis. Turn it on those. And now we have two fonts that we can use. Let's just refresh this page really fast. So see how they're turned on? We're good. Oh man, I gotta stop it already. Uh, boom. All right, N neuro poll. Let's go over here, let's try out some of these. How's everybody doing this fine day? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, make sure if you turn on these classifications, make sure you clear it when you need to as well, right? Because chances are um, you're not going to see the font that you want and it's because you have it filtered somehow. Okay, so just hit clear. Let's show recently added and pray to the gods that it will be set up. And by the way, I got to make sure my login is exactly the same. So let's go out here if you ever have any issues, okay? It's that icon. <laughs> and go to my, ah, that's the problem. I knew it, dang it. Okay, so that's the problem. Like you do have to make sure you're logged in as the same, the same, uh, in the same account. So that's not the case here, which is why I'm not getting those fonts. But you guys get the idea, I could switch it and do all that stuff, that's boring. Let's just kind of move on to what I have in here, so. Yep. All right, cool. I like this too. So what if we do something fun with this font? <clears throat> right, I like how big and bold it is, right? And this may or may not work, right? Saturn's an interesting word. Let's go ahead and um, let's just go ahead and separate this out. So, there we go. Maybe this will work, maybe it won't. But let's try it out. Let's fill this with white. Fill this part right down here with white as well. And let's group this together. So this may or may not work, but let's do it anyways, huh? Zoom out. Saturn's already a strong, really strong word. I could use any one of these typefaces, but this is for you guys to decide. Tell me what you think. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna shrink it down. And I kinda wanna try to put it inside there. So let's send this to the back and then have this in the front and uh, I don't know, is it working? Okay, we are gonna adjust the kerning or the spacing right over here, right? 
Uh, shortcut key for that is, hold on, let me select this text. Wait for it. There we go. Holding down the option key and I can adjust uh, the kerning or the spacing between those letters, right? So that's what I'm doing. Uh, you could hold down the, there we go. Hold down the option key and the command key, it will increase or decrease by 10, right? So we'll just get there maybe 160, right? I like that spacing, about 160. Jump in here. Yeah, I could do it the same way to get up there. It does it by hundreds. Oh, I'm sorry, not by tens, by hundreds in here. But right in here, we want 160. Oh, shoot. Did I just delete my text? I knew that would happen. 160, enter. I don't know, everybody. What do you think? Option key is the magic key. Steve, thanks for bringing that up. Because I think anytime you're thinking, oh, I wish there was an option to do this with this tool, just literally try the option key because chances are we baked in that feature, right? So that's what I have. I, I really want this like you to be kind of behind that text. So anyways, that's, that's kind of what I'm working on. I don't know if it works. Maybe it doesn't work, guys. You tell me. Maybe it's not that cool. All right, so this one, yeah, it's a fail. <laughs> Let's just move this over. Boop. Let's get that out of the way. Let's just go with something like this. Yeah. Let's take this element, bring it over here. Now we want these two to match, right? So we just gotta be aware of the line thickness, right? And this, in this case, I kinda actually have to just kinda eyeball it. And let's take it down to 0.8. There we go. Now those are the same thickness. But there we have Saturn. I just think this looks a little bit better, right? Same thickness, looks nice. And let's continue. Uh, what, what are you doing? Oh, that's fun. Um, that might be a good idea. So Rick, Rick H, sort of putting a, maybe a ring around each letter. Hmm, that would be interesting. Uh, thank you, Joe Bodego, uh, for that suggestions suggestion. Um, awesome. Uh, yeah. Happy, happy to help when it comes to any suggestions you guys might have for the tools. You guys can always like hit me up on social media. You know, yeah. Comments in chat. It's uh, tough to take notes while I'm working, but uh, there we go, Saturn. And this should probably have double lines as well. So we'll select this. Let's do that, right? We will go down to, let's just open up our brushes panel. I have this one. Hello, yowza, too much. Go right up here. We'll see what else we have. Yep, yep. And again, let's go down here. Brush libraries. Arrows, artistic, borders. Let's take a look at borders decorative. Yeah, no, this is not gonna work. This is too much, right? Don't quite want to do that, right? Um, let's do this. You ready for this? We'll go to uh, Distort and Transform, out to Transform. And in this case, I wanna create one copy of this line, right? And we'll increase it horizontally, 110, by 110 just to see what that looks like. And I've created that double line. I like this because I could dial it in and I can also change it later. So this is way too thick. Let's take it down to 105, 105. There we are, let's do 102, 102. 
one too. There we are, now we have that double line, but uh, using this transform to really dial that in, and I can change it later on. And if I decide I want like 10 copies, boom, there we are. That also looks cool. Hey, what do you know? Kind of into that. I don't know, guys. So many options. Let's go with that. That is cool. And let's make sure this is on top and filled in. Selecting that, sending it to the back, selecting this. Element right here and filling it with white. There we go. Saturn. Cool. How's everybody doing today? Uh, checking the time. I have, I have 10 minutes. Um, oh, there was a tiki border in that folder. Oh, might have been. Let's take a look. Brush. <clears throat> yeah, so some of these might be kind of fun, huh? Wait for it, wait for it. X, V. There we go, just kind of pulling things off. Oh, come on. Sorry about this. Cutting them, putting them on a different layer. That's all I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Cool, saving those like so all right so thank you for that i could probably use those borders if we want to let's close it let's get started on our next one by the way i thought these fonts would go well together i was going to keep the body text the same but i actually just don't think it's working i think we need to go with something just a little bit more clean for this text so we're just going to go with simple sans serif and uh, just something very modern and clean, right? So that's what we're going for. Yeah, there we go, Futura. Hey, has its name written all over it. We'll go with Futura and maybe increase the size a touch. There we go, there's Saturn. Done, done, let's move on. Uh, uh, imagine, Also, they can be thinner. The, I don't know what you're referencing, Steve. The borders can be, yeah. So, yeah, that's the whole deal with brushes. All right, Caballero Mierto. Yeah, let's go grab a skull. Hey, why not? You knew it was coming. You knew it was going to happen. There it is. It wouldn't be a Paul stream if I did not grab a skull. And you know what else? Let's grab a, a cowboy hat. There we are. Cool. All right, let's integrate these two. Let me know how you guys are doing. How is everybody doing today? Okay. Let's try this. I actually want to just use the live paint bucket. You ready for this? I'm gonna use this live paint bucket just to um, have this area filled. So let's just try this. Live paint bucket. We'll just change this to red for kicks and we'll click and sure enough, yeah, that's exactly what I want. But this is the live paint bucket. Uh, it doesn't quite do it there because I don't have everything selected. But um, let me select this stuff. There we are, live paint bucket. You could use your, as I go through, you could use your arrow keys to select the different colors. Again, just kind of going with red. Uh, 
Okay, and you know, start clicking through all of that. All right, we won't worry about that right now. Because all I really wanted is I wanted this to be white. There we go. And I want this. This is the hard thing about if you did not make these elements. Um, figuring out uh, how it's set up. All right, use the live paint bucket again. Let's try this. Good, 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 good. All right, fantastic. So that works. I'm actually gonna change this to white. Let's see if this actually changes. Hold on. Look at this, this is so clever. Look at this, live paint bucket. As I click with my arrow keys, we can see it actually change in my swatches panel. So I'll just change that to white because I want this hat to be white in these spots right here. All right, so that's done. Move that on down. All right, we'll work on this later. I really wanna, okay. How's everyone doing today? Is there an intuitive tool or plugin that can help me organize and categorize my fonts? Uh, none that I'm aware of, but good question. Good question. Sorry, I do not know the answer. Uh, there used to be, uh, what was it? What was the font organizer we used back in the day, especially on Mac? You're able to turn on and off fonts back when usually your desktop could, you know, would only allow you to, basically you would not load all of your fonts in all of your programs, but allowed you, it was a font manager. Come on, I can't even remember the name of the font manager we used to use. Everybody used to, but that's when computers were slow and loading in lots of fonts would really bog down your machine. So anyways. Suitcase, thank you. Carol Pearl wins. The thickness of this is not quite correct. Let's just drop that there. Come on now. Let's just try this. Should I take this? All right, I'm gonna do this really fast because this is bothering me. How much time do I got? Ah, never enough. Okay, let's get this. Let's, let's chop this up. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna go a little nuts here. Done, okay. I did it. I did it. All right, there we go. Something kind of like that. There we go. Done. Again, not really font related, but we had to do it, right? Because it's just like too appropriate. Let's put it right in the middle, group it, and let's play with this font. We want kind of um, a Western font. Let's go into the decorative fonts, but uh, just keeping it very rough. So we're looking for a rough font. And again, if I can't scroll through there, go out to fonts.adobe.com and then search through the rough fonts. So right in here, let's do this, people. Ooh, I like big fish. Ah, oh, big fish is nice. Ah, here we go. Carta Marina, perfect. Ooh, did I actually, what is going on here? Is that his nose? Okay, there we go. Sweet. All right, sorry I'm not looking at chat that much. That happens when I'm working hard. We got a full day plan for you. I think Terry White's up next for a little um, ch -ch 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 -ch. photography mat cla master class part two, iPhone and smartphone photography. Awesome. 
Caballero Mierto. Um, we could take a texture and fill it um, on this icon is something that I would do, but I'm down on my last minute. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'm sorry I didn't get through all of this, but it's looking pretty good, huh? Let's turn on this. Bam. There we go. We did a pretty good job, right? Within an hour, we have... Uh, we were mastering fonts and ba basically making title art um, for these menu items. Remember, these are non-alcoholic, so when it says rum, it's not, not really what you're seeing there. It says Coke. All right. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you. And uh, I will be back for the Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge, and then I'm going to tackle some fun stuff in Photoshop as well. So thanks so much for hanging out with me. We will see you all soon. Thanks so much.